Hi, grade six. Uh, I'm going to continue on with uh, the math lesson we started the other day about perimeter and area. So just to review, uh, these four concepts are the basis for the unit. So if you can have a good understanding of these four concepts, you're going to do great. Area, perimeter, volume, and surface area. So just to review our last lesson, perimeter is the distance around five centimeters plus three centimeters plus five centimeters plus three centimeters equals 16 centimeters. And just for the sake of this, we're gonna do it all in centimeters. Area is base times height, which is 15 centimeters. So that's how you calculate the area of a rectangle and perimeter never changes for a shape. It's always the distance around. So for the area of a rectangle, it's 15 centimeters square, right? Because we're using two measurements base times height. Some of you might hear my dog growling in the background. That's because there's a bunny outside and bunnies make her growl. So hopefully she doesn't interrupt us too much. Okay. Now, once you understand the basic idea of area and perimeter, you don't need as much information from me. So if you see an object like a square, which has four equal or congruent sides, uh, equal means congruent, you know that for perimeter, we're adding up all the sides, two, plus two, plus two, plus two equals eight, eight centimeters. For area, base times height, two times two is four centimeters square because it's base times height, two measurements. So now we go on to where it changes. So we know the formula for perimeter, adding up the sides. We know area of a rectangle, area of a square is base times height. But if you get a triangle, we add a step. So think of it this way, okay? We start with the perimeter, four, eight, 12, the distance around, it's still 12 centimeters. Now, start with what you know. So the base of this triangle is four centimeters. The height is not four centimeters because the lines are curved. The height you calculate in the middle here. So the height is three centimeters. So four times three, base times height, like you were taught, equals 12. But because it's a triangle, okay? So think of a square going up and meeting it here. Because it's a triangle, you have to divide it by two. So the area of a triangle is calculated by going base times height divided by two. It's still calculated in centimeters squared. It's still two measurements, base times height. The last step is just dividing. You don't have to add a number. Or it's always divided by two. So base times height divided by two. So for area, it's the one time where you're gonna see a difference between the formula. So only when you're calculating triangles do you change the area to include the division of two, okay? It's the step you add. The good thing about it is, it doesn't matter what type of triangle you've got, okay? So um, I'm actually going through my notes a bit here. Okay, so equilateral triangle, okay? Three sides equal. And what do we have here? So this would be an isosceles triangle, okay? It's got two sides equal, this one and this one. Also, it could be called a right angle triangle. It doesn't matter what type of triangle, it's still base times height divided by two. So base, and however you want to calculate the height, you want to go this way, think of it like flipping the shape over. So the line would go from here to here, say it's three centimeters, base times height divided by two equals six. Base is five, height is four, divided by two. Okay. Base is six, height is five, 
divided by 2. My equilateral triangle, base is 3, height is 2, divided by 2. Okay? And there should be centimeters squared on all of them. Okay? Because it's still two measurements. So the next question is, okay, Mr. Griffin, why? Why do we change the formula when we're dealing with a triangle? Well, here's a good visual for you, okay? Uh, just trying to uh, keep my dog focused here as I teach. He's really interested in what's going on out the window. Um, so here, here's a parallelogram, and we're going to do a lesson on parallelograms later on. But if you think of a parallelogram, it's, it's back to the old formula, base times height. The area of this parallelogram is 6 times 4, 24 centimeters. But if you were to think of it as why we divide by 2 with triangles, let me see if I can show you here. All right. So I'm going to use a line. Okay. Two triangles. So that's why you divide it by two, because these shapes that I've been showing you, the formula is base times height. But when you're dealing with a triangle, you have to remember to divide it by two. So think of it like this. Breaking down 24 centimeters into 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters, okay? So the area of the parallelogram is six times four. But when we calculate triangles, it's always important to divide by two, okay? You see that? You see how the parallelogram is can be recognized as uh, two of these? That's why, all right? So just to recap, area of a rectangle, area of a square, area of a parallelogram, base times height. Area of a triangle, base times height divided by two. Doesn't matter which triangle, all right? So hope that helps. Uh, we'll keep going with this. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll chat soon.